Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over two things. I'm going to be combining two videos into one. I was going to do it separately, but I feel like it's better just to put them into one, maximize the time that way instead of doing two separate videos that are a bit longer on each end. So we're going to be going over what to do first in the Zero Chill promo, as well as ranking the best four Snow Beasts to pick right now. Not, not by taking four, but obviously you get one of the four. So I'm going to be ranking all four. And remember, but just real quick disclaimer, when it comes to the rankings, you don't have to take a word for it, right? Let's say I rank, the reason I rank them is for this reason. Let's say I rank all four, right? And my first one is a wide receiver, right? There's no wide receiver. But let's say there was a wide receiver. But you have three wide receivers in your team that are good. You go to my second pick, which could be the center, right? And you need a center. So just make sure you use it like that. Don't just take a guy because I say he's the best. If your team does not need him, do not waste your coins and take one. But moving on, let's get into what to do first. Let's go over everything. But first, let's get into our Poodle Squad shout out, guys. If you want a chance to shout it out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, turn on that noti bell, of course. But for today's shout out, guys, we do have Charlie Mitchell. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. But let's head on over. So the first thing you want to do when you get into Zero Chill is come over to Missions, come over to Chill Factor, and this is your this is like your guide, your ultimate pamphlet, your brochure for the Zero Chill. You can see everything throughout, but the most important thing here is going to be this right here. You want to be getting these super rewards and tier. So you want to get to tier 20 as fast as possible, in my opinion, right? If you do all this, you're gonna get 6,700. Snow, four beast foods. This is from Solos, by the way. Five total store packs, frostbite and glacier uniforms. You're gonna get a Nat Snow Beast 93 overall for free. You're gonna get a Nat 93 overall zero trip player for free. A 93, 84 to 93 overall out of position player for free. A 92 to 94 overall Ghost of Madden player for free, and a 92 to 93 overall. Um, random player from the entire promo for free now i would recommend getting as much chill factor as you can obviously you may not be able to get everything right away but go ahead and get what you can now the way you get these are simple there's so many ways you get them from completing zero chill missions you get them from completing the how the grouch will mutt miss you get them from doing sets you get them from using uh star milestones you get them from daily objectives you get them from buying packs there's so many different ways to get them guys just go ahead and start getting them because i'm telling you just the snow beast alone is going to be a beast, right? A free 93 overall. But there's just so much potential, right? You're getting five free potential 90 plus players. Those can be five starters on your team. That can really, you know, jumpstart a no money spent team. Could jumpstart a Christmas team. A guy who just got, who's going to get mad for Christmas, like just getting it right now. There's so much potential to these uh, just in general. But definitely make sure you're getting these done. Now, once you're done with that, like I said, come over and play the solos. This kind of coincides with it, though. Make sure you're playing the Grinch solos. Or I should say the Grouch, right? For copyright reasons. How the Grouch will one up miss. Make sure you're playing these guys, Mr. Grouch. Go through them. There's not that many. There's not that many. It's super fast. And you get um, a total of, I believe, yeah, four chill factors. Now, there are going to be more, but I believe that's just the chance to add more to the solos. But it's going to end up being a total of 10 when all said and done. Then, guys, make sure you're playing your EA Play solos. Go collect some free snow here in the medium plus present pack. That could be a large or an extra large present. Go take your chances on that. Now, once you're done with that, right? Once you're done with all that, I recommend going over to sets and seeing what you can kind of fill out, right? Um, in terms of sets, I'm going to be going over the map, but definitely do the math and the sets. Some of these sets can end up being pretty good for you, like the Derrick Henry set, the Charles Woodson set. Check out maybe you have some of these lower overall players, see what you can get done. Always check through sets and see what you got, right? Uh, let's see, small presents all it takes is two elite. So maybe you go through and you, you know, you toss these and you get a small present, right? Or for the uh, medium or bigger present, you need seven of them. Maybe you go ahead and you toss these in. It'll require, let's say, two of these guys, right? You keep going through. Maybe you go create some presents, right? I mean, it really just, it's up to you at the end of the day what you want to do. But just check out what you have in your binder. Like, if you're not a binder cleaner like me, like, you just keep things in your binder loose. Go ahead and check. Maybe you have enough stuff to make some, some presents instead of wasting it. Hot cocoa. Definitely be doing the hot cocoa. And the reason for that is that I think Jonu Smith is a must-have with the 90 speed at tight end. So definitely be getting this hot cocoa set done. Now, if you don't want to do the hot cocoa set, you can go ahead to the store and just buy one. Which is going to cost no, but either way, make sure you're getting hot cocoa. Then come over to the store, and this is what you want to do next. And this is for more of the money spenders, but regardless, if you guys do spend money, this is what you guys want to be focusing on next. And it's going to be first a Sub-Zero pack. You like to spend money on these little cheapy packs they always give us. This isn't the bad odds. A 93 overall uh, player is 13%, which is actually super solid, considering the odds of some of the packs we get. So you can open this for 5 bucks. It's going to be like 4 something with the A access. Just open it up, test it out. Always get those free packs. If you're not free packs, cheapy packs, I should say. 
And then, of course, focus on the presence here. I was going to be the snow currency. This isn't so much money spender. Uh, 12k for the hot cocoa I was telling about. Also, if you guys want all the snow beasts, it's really not as bad as you'd think. You open up one of these 400s, get an additional snow beast, and then you go ahead and you do the beast food collectibles, and you go add it to the player, and then you end up getting uh, another, you know, another 93 overall beast, besides the free one you do get. And now here, focus on the presence, right? This is something where it's going to come down to gambling, right? Would you rather get the guaranteed large presence? Or would you rather get the random presence? Now, it's tough, right? You're going to have to do the math on it and really figure it out. But as of now, there's a decent chance you're going to pull a lot of small and medium presence out of this thing. So you're pretty much losing every time. And then there's a decent chance that... And then there's like a, a small chance you get like an extra large or a large, which would make up a lot of money. But it's going to be tough, right? You're going to have to open them and really feel them out. But it's a ton of snow. So you're going to have to get the snow first. I, if I was you guys, I'd recommend you wait for some YouTubers and some other people that you know, some friends, whatever. Let them do it first. See how it ends up looking. I want to probably test it out as well. But let, let us all do it first before you end up wasting your snow on it. See the odds. Like It could be like... There's been years where a large present, you get like three every 20, right? And in that case here, three out of every 20, you'd be losing, right? Because if you got three of these, that's about, give or take about 90K. And then you get, um, it's about 88 to 90K. And then you get, let's say the rest of them are all these. You end up looking at a, like somewhere around 130K, maybe 140K. But 20 of them of these random will cost you about 200K. So you probably need three every 10. Three every 10 would be a much better ratio. Three every 10 would be like 100K you spend. And then you get about three of these, and then you're making all your money every time. So, you know, again, it's iffy, but definitely be focusing and looking into all this stuff. But that pretty much wraps up the what to do first for now for, like, the part one-ish, two-ish part of this promo, of course, because this is only the first part. We're going to have tons more, a ton more stuff. We're going to have hints on presents and a lot more to go over. This is pretty much what you want to be doing first right now. Just pretty much in order. Go to that tier list. Get your chill factor as high as possible and start collecting your snow. And then looking at the sets and start collecting some presents. That's about it for that, guys. Let's get into the rank. Let's go rank the snow beast so you guys have a good idea of the best snow beast to pick when you guys do end up getting yours. Number four on the snow beast list of who I think you should take is Jason Kelsey. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm usually an advocate for taking a lineman because, again, at the end of the day, you don't really get linemen that often. Like, you know what I mean? Typically, linemen are like, you hate, you, especially centers, you hate to pay for them. You know they help, but you hate to pay for them. And a guy like Jason Kelsey with that great run blocking is always good. He seems to always get a hero or like a snow beast, something like this all the time too. But the only thing with Jason Kelsey being a center is that he's a replacement level overall, like, you know, 93 overall. So there's a decent chance that, let's say, in the near future, we get like a legend 95 overall center, like a Kevin Maguire or something. And then you want to get rid of Kelsey. Now you're stuck with him, and he's not like he's a center, so you can put him around the line, but it's kind of weird. So, I mean, he's good. That run block, if you want an elite run blocker, guys, again, like I said, if, you, if you, the other guys I see on this list, you have the positions filled already, then go ahead and take Kelsey. But the thing with Kelsey, he's a center, right? Arguably, well, I, I I think centers are important, but a lot of people arguably think they're the least important on the line. In, in Madden, of course, not in real life. So I understand, you know, at the end of the day, the left tackles and right tackles keep you upright. The left guards and right guards help you run. And the centers do a little bit of everything, but you may not always notice it. Probably the least exciting pick as well. And, of course, this is Madden. This is the holiday season. I want to be exciting with it. Moving on to the next one, guys. We do have... Lamar Jackson coming number three. Now, you guys probably thought Lamar would be higher, and that is not the case for multiple reasons. I'm going to give you guys my top three reasons why Lamar is not the top. First, this is not the year of the running quarterback. It seems like this seems to be the year of the rocket arms, right? Like the, the strong arms, the year of the uh, gunslingers, the year of the accurate quarterback, surprisingly. Next, the accuracy. Once again, they did it again. Lamar Jackson does not get all the thresholds. For, if Lamar Jackson, even if it was just like he scraped in like at, a, at an 89, 90, 90, right? Like, I would be cool with that. Like, that would have been perfect. If he got thresholds, he got the deep and medium. That's the issue, right? The medium is the biggest deal. Because, to be real, when you play Madden, guys, mo most of your reads are going to be medium reads, right? Like, in routes, out routes, uh, skinny posed, um, quick quick streaks. You know, like, those are, those are a lot of the routes you may run. And Lamar's going to be inaccurate on them. And that, that little bit of an accuracy in a game like Mutt is not cool. And you know why? Because with all the abilities we have nowadays... With lockdown, um, chems, and everyone having like zone hawk and all this other stuff, one little error and throw is going to be a animation pick for them. So you cannot be dealing with that. Now, yes, 94 speed powered up is crazy, and that's why Lamar still made third, right? Like he's still exciting, guys. If you have Lamar powered up from the beginning, if you're a no money spent team that's been using the power up Lamar you got for the game, by all means, go ahead and rock with Lamar. There's nothing wrong with that. He's going to be fun to play with with that 94 speed, and especially with the way the next gen game plays. But I don't think he's going to be a top player here because, obviously, it's a quarterback as well. 
you know, only 93. We're going to be getting 95, 96 overall quarterbacks without throughout this probably. Maybe like a 95 Steve Young at some point. And you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, and it's a quarterback, so you can't really toss him down. You always, When you get free players, you always want to take players at depth positions. And center and quarterback are not that. Coming up next, guys, at number two, we get Eddie Jackson. Now, Eddie Jackson, again, not a depth position per se, which is why I'm not rocking with him at one. But Eddie Jackson has a 92 speed. Now, powered up in Kemda, he will have a 99 zone very easily. Above 90 men, 93 speed. He's arguably one of the best, if not the best, free safety in the game. He looks super solid, guys. That 93 speed is game-changing as safety. I like that's a great speed. Not to mention he gets 99 zone, which means he does get all the glitchy zone animations. He has decent enough hit power, quite honestly. Um, he has good his player X is going to be like a 97, 98-ish. His man coverage is going to be like a 93, 94. His acceleration is a 94. Everything's going to be super great in this card. Eddie Jackson overall is just going to play like an absolute goon. Highly recommend you take Eddie Jackson as well if you don't like my first option. Coming at number one, guys, we have Marshawn Lattimore. Now, Lattimore, like I said, he probably would have been number two, but he's a depth addition, right? So at the end of the day, with Eddie Jackson, you get a new free safety. You could toss him out strong, but there's so many good safeties. And that's the other thing. There's so, so, so many good safeties right now. There's just too many of them. So the thing with Marshawn Lattimore is you put him right now as your number one corner, let's just say, right? Then you pick up Charles Wilson. You put him at your number two. Then you pick up the new Dion that might come out. Put him at number three. Pick up some, put him at number four. He go rock with you for a decent amount of time and still be usable when you feel like you didn't waste your free player on him. Now, Kim up and powered up. He's going to have a 93 speed, 94 XL. Going to have a 99 man coverage, which is huge in a man coverage meta. 99 man. Have above 90, uh, 90 press and above 90 zone. He's going to hit every single threshold he needs to hit. He's going to be super athletic. And you know, a lot of more cards always seem to play pretty good. And they're always fun to play. Play with in general. So, a lot of more is my number one option. So, again, to wrap it up, Kelsey coming to number four. Lamar coming in at three. Eddie Jack coming in at two. A lot of more coming in at one. Like I said, let's say you have a bunch of corners already. Go to Eddie Jackson. Let's say you have a safety already. Go to Lamar. Let's say you need none of that. You just want alignments filling. Go Kelsey. It's fine. You don't have to take these rankings as like as gospel, right? Like you just, just look at them, you know, use the information given and see what works for you guys. So that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell, come join the family. Make sure to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, yeah, that's it. And over to my reserve, guys, you guys need some coins. Like I said, you're getting some free players, but there's Woodson, there's Derrick Henry, there's Jones. There's a lot of players you're going to need. Head over to my reserve. Use code pool 15% off. Take advantage of the holiday discounts. And yeah, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.